I don't like my mind right now. Stacking up. Go ahead. What's up guys, Ace is here with Brian. And we are worth the download. And this week we're doing a little bit of a later review because I got sick and I could barely talk. And we're in full baseball gear because we're about to play a baseball game too. So we're so, Canadian. <laughs> we're Canadian. <laughs> we're excited. So this week we actually reviewed uh, Linkin Park's newest album, One More Light. Um, so this is you know an album that's come out after a few years since uh, we haven't heard from them. And I, guess I was kind of excited to listen to, to listen to this album and see what they were kind of bringing to the table. But uh, I'll let you start. I don't know how, I don't know how you felt about this album. Okay, well, Linkin Park to me it, it, it touch it touches a heart like a part of my heart. You know the, the reason why because they're one of the reasons why I became uh, so into uh, rock. Right, they're one of the that got me into the whole punk scene and all that stuff. So I'm a huge fan. However, of course, you know, Linkin Park, they went from like being really, really hardcore to really, really, uh, I don't want to say the P word, but just girly. <laughs> just very poppy, right? So okay. they, uh, so I was expecting a little different this time just because I feel like the rock scene kind of coming back. But unfortunately, they did not. They did not uh, bring that whole, like the old school hardcoreness like they did back in the day. Um, they kind of stuck to their, uh, to their pop feel, their pop uh, sounding. Uh, a little different from last album, I believe, but... It was not the best. That's my opinion about it. Um, the only good song I really liked is pretty much the single. Yeah, pretty and much. And the only thing, the only reason why I like it because there's a little bit of hip hop in it. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's the only the collab? reason. Yeah. So yeah, but, and, uh, it was pretty good collab with uh, Pusha T, by the way. So yeah. that was not bad. Anyways, yeah, but good. that's my opinion. It was mediocre for me. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, like the thing with with Linkin Park, though, is like you know when they came out, like they they came onto the scene hard, right? And I think back when they came out in the early 2000s, you know, it was kind of a, a different time. I think with, with people, because a lot of people were like, you know, like I either either like rock or I like hip hop or I like electronic. But then Linkin Park comes out and they kind of mesh all those three together, and so they got instant fans from like everywhere, right? And so they exploded onto the scene with uh, with Hybrid Theory, and then you got Meteora, that like which was a really solid you know follow up album after that. But then I felt like after those two albums, which were both like you know solid, they were both like you know hard rock song, you know, sounds with some, you know, some hip-hop thrown in there and some electronic. But then after that, it felt like every album after that just got tamer and tamer and popular and popular. <laughs> and, uh, and then you got to this album where, you know, I was, I was hoping, like, maybe they'd go back to some of that old sound because we've had a lot of comeback bands coming out, you know, in the last, like, you know, few months. And a lot of them are brought, you know, they, they've kind of stayed true to their original sound. But Linkin Park is just decided to stay poppy, I think. And so this whole album, like, it starts here and it ends at the same level. Like, there's never, there's no dynamic to the okay. album. Album. Yeah. yeah, it's just like it's pretty much, and some of the songs almost sound like the exact same song with different lyrics. You like, know what? And that's the <laughs> thing, right? Like when I was driving, I, like I drove, I drive and listen to music, right? So I, I listened to the album, then I drove and listened to the album. I did not even pay attention of the music, to be honest, because it was just like, okay, the same, the same song is going. It's, you get lost, but in a bad way. Yeah. Sorry for being shaky. My arms hurt so much. <laughs> but anyhow, go ahead. <laughs> so yeah, so basically, like what we're getting at is, uh, I think that the album was kind of it's it's kind of subpar and i think that the fans that would jump onto lincoln park now would not enjoy some of lincoln park's earlier stuff and i think the same way for the old fans they want to hold on to that you know that memory but they're kind of being let down here with this album and so it's kind of where where we end up so if you were to give this album a score then out of five what would you give it honestly uh because i liked only one song and they were like all right it was all right for me i gotta give it unfortunately i gave it like a two two out of five uh failed albums <laughs> two to five failed albums. Two All to right. five failed albums for me. So for me, I'll, I'm gonna give it a pass. Yeah, same for same idea. There's a couple of tracks in there that I kind of like. The singles, pretty much, just the two single tracks. Outside of that, it was pretty like a meh album. So I'm gonna give it a 2.5. So I'll give it a pass. 2.5 hybrid theory soldiers i'll see how that'll make that work yeah it's gonna be hard i'm going, I'm going back to the original because that's what i remember linkin park so that's yeah. uh that's our review for this week guys so, um, <laughs> sorry yeah so next week we're going to be reviewing shakira's new album yeah doing something different right we're, we're both latino boys i mean though he looks filipino but uh i'm not racist guys but uh yeah i think we're doing shakira and we'll see how that works so that's the only thing that's really going on while next album next yeah week. pretty much next week there's not too much in terms of music but Shakira's album so we're like hey it's pop we'll listen to it and, uh, and see what happens I mean we did Nelly Furtado after all right oh yeah yeah little anyways little so make sure that you guys uh, subscribe little. so that you guys know when we drop that review and hopefully it'll be right on Wednesday like we normally do and uh, yeah and that's about it don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well at worth the DL and I guess that wraps up our review and we'll catch you guys next week I think my arm is ready for pitching right now do it alright <laughs>